From Municipio Square, and through Liso Street we can finally arrive at the quarter of Civita Falconara. Just at its entrance, there is the Church of the Holy Cross that dates back to the 17th century and the Fountain of the Eagle that dates back to the second half of the 17th century. The fountain, totally made of stone, is the symbol of the city. It is composed of two towers that symbolize Cicero and Caius Marius, above them we can admire the eagle. Initially, the fountain was located in the courtyard of Bon Compagni Palace, then it was moved from Municipio Square and only then it was moved to its current position. The quarter is situated on a hill, this position gives it a marvelous view on the surrounding landscape. The structure of this quarter is mainly medieval but, thanks to the findings, it is thought that it was occupied by the Volsci. The remains of polygonal walls are still visible, on the right of the entrance, Keys Marius Street. Not distant from here, we can also find the small church of St. Rocco, built on a fortified tower, a page from the stone book and the small church of the Virgin of Loreto that probably dates back to the 18th century. Now, we can finally arrive at the castle of Ladislau, built in the 13th century. Initially, it was called Cast Rum Pescli Falconerii, but then it acquired the current denomination after the visit from the Angevin Ladislau, King of the Reign of Naples, in 1409. During the years, its structure had been modified several times, in fact few remains of the medieval age can be seen today. In 1828 it hosted the enormous Chicotacola woolen mill, at a later time it hosted the Technical Industrial Institute for Chemists, whereas today it contains Umberto Mastroianni's works. In the lower part of the quarter we can arrive at St. Mary Square, where there is the Church of St. Mary of Civita with its beautiful bell tower that dates back to the 18th century. In front of the church, we can see the Quadrini Palace, with its balcony and the coat of arms on the entrance gate. On the left of the church we can find Civita Falconara Street which leads us to the end of the quarter. During the path it is possible to admire a series of historical palaces, such as Batterolo Palace, Incanioli Palace, Emilia Morricone's Palace and Pest Palace.